Larry Owings, 1970 NCAA wrestling champion, three-time finalist, most known for beating Dan Gable in the NCAA championship finals. We're at the 2018 NCAA championships. Did you ever think your match against Gable would have this kind of staying power? I had no idea when I beat Dan Gable that people would be, be remembering it 50 years later. That's just uh, un unreal. I mean, I, I went out to win a national champion, uh, not to be uh, the guy that beat Dan Gable, but it turns out that uh, I, was, I got both. And uh, he's been a great influence on my life. Uh, give me a lot of opportunities I probably never would have had, and uh, it's helped the court of wrestling too, I think. Did winning that match affect you negatively? Uh, you know, I, I was kind of an introverted sort of person, still am, and uh, there were times after that that, uh, yes, um, I didn't like the, the monkey of Gable being on my back all the time. It's like, there goes Larry Owings, the guy that beat Dan Gable, rather than uh, Larry Owings, who was a great wrestler. You know, I, I hated the publicity. Uh, I just wanted to go in and wrestle and, and go home and be a regular person. So yeah, it, it was hard uh, living up to people's expectations all the time and trying to be, be the, what they wanted me to be, I guess. But it's good now, right? I, I changed my attitude uh, about uh, the time I retired, which has been about 15 years ago now. Uh, I tried to hide from it, get away from it as much as I could, but. When I retired, I thought, you know, this is never going to go away. It's, it's a part of my life. And so instead of trying to hide it, I uh, decided to embrace it in my life and, and use uh, what I had done for the benefit of others. And I think because of uh, my change of attitude, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's been better for me. And I think it's helped a lot of other people, too. First public appearance with Dan Gable, what's that like? Uh, great. Dan's a good guy.